women urging homeless people to clear out of this camp that they've set up in front of Sacramento City Hall. But this morning, they remain there. So last night, the protesters announced to the city council that they would be taking drastic measures to make sure their concerns are heard. KCR3's Leticia Ordaz is back live at City Hall this morning with what they're planning on doing. Deirdre and Teo, for 29 days, people in the community have been bringing food here to City Hall to feed some of the homeless community. But now folks out here, at least several of them say they will be starting a hunger strike effective next Tuesday. It's a way to get through to city leaders. And we do want to mention that last night police did move in overnight and arrested two people, but they are now back. Take a look at the meeting. Mayor Kevin Johnson heard complaints from the homeless net last night at the city council meeting. He was greeted by a hostile crowd during the meeting. He announced he would set up a task force to look into the homeless issue. Homeless advocates blasted city leaders for aggressively policing the homeless camp and not doing enough to solve the problems. For four weeks now, protesters have slept outside of City Hall. Now they are trying to get the city's no camping ban overturned here, but they've had little success out here. Now some have announced they would risk their own health to make way for change. It's not nearly as important as the health of the thousands of people that are being jeopardized every night because of this ordinance. And it, I'm willing to go to extreme lengths to try to make this change. The city says on any given night, more than 2,600 people are without a home in Sacramento. Council members say they do spend $13 million a year to work with the homeless out here. Again, the hunger strike will start this coming Tuesday, and folks here say they're not leaving here. They want to meet with city officials one-on-one -on -one to solve this issue once and for all. Reporting live out here at City Hall, I'm Ordaz, KCLRA 3 News.